Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula, home of the Husky community. Hope you're doing well today. Hila is looking good, by the way. She's actually been losing some weight. Yeah, that, yeah, you can turn as much as you want, but that booty butt is getting a little bit more skinny. We've been weighing her in. She's been on a strict diet for a few months now. She's been getting that exercise and she's dropped a few pounds. She's like, oh, I'm looking good, baby. I'm going out on the town and I'm gonna show off my booty. Aren't you? <laughs> yeah, you are. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. We got a whole bunch of resources. If you check out our Husky Training 101 section, you're going to learn everything you ever needed to know about a Siberian Husky. So if you're thinking about getting one as a puppy or you're thinking about rescuing one, we have over 750 videos that are going to help you out, help you train, raise, live, and survive with a Siberian Fluffy. But today we're going to be talking about all of that floof and how often a Siberian Husky sheds their fur. One of the biggest deterrents for people when it comes to getting a Siberian Husky is that people think that they shed way too much. They think, oh man, they're so cute, but that fur, dude, I ain't dealing with that fur. That's the game-changing element for me. But there's a lot of confusion around how much Siberian Huskies actually shed. So in today's episode, we're gonna go over all of that good junk. And Hila right here is gonna tell you how much fur usually falls off of her booty, aren't you, lady? <laughs> I'm sorry I keep talking about your booty, but you know, it makes for good content. But before I get into all that information, we're gonna look at something cooler than your face. <laughs> I'm so it's not cooler than your face, but it's, it's, it's like just as cool. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, it's nowhere near as cool as your face, but just come on, let's, let's go look at it. Oh my good golly goodness gosh, look at these. Oh my goodness, these are the brand new merch stickers and magnets that we got for the channel. Now this one is yellow and this is a stickle. This one right here, it's a blue one. Oh, and this is a sticker too. These are high quality stickers. These aren't the stickers that you find in a quarter machine, bruh. These are vinyl, so you can take them on and off and they're never going to leave a paper residue. What the hell about that? You better call up your mama and tell her to buy a whole package for the family for Christmas. So yeah, here they all are looking delicious and good. If you want a pink one, the pink ones are magnets, so you can put them on your car, you can put them on your refrigerator, you can put them on your face. Kind of come with like a green outline, a pink outline. They're just dope delicious. So if you're interested in getting one of these, go ahead and comment down below. We're going to have the website set up ASAP so that you guys can go there. They're going to be extremely cheap. So you're not going to have to pay that much. And they're super high quality. Look at these things. This is what's up, dude. And by the way, they were created by a Florida local artist named Nico Suavalicious. She's done so much amazing work in different cities all around Florida. She's painted murals in the Jacksonville Jaguar Stadium. So I was so happy to have her do this artwork. It came out great and I'm excited to get this stuff into your hands. What do you think, dude? Are you excited? It's really exciting, isn't it? <laughs> I know, dude. I can't wait. All right, come on over here. Let's talk about the, the, the fluffalicious. Yeah, that, that curly fluffy boot tack that you got right there. Yeah. So if you're thinking about getting a Siberian Husky and you're worried about all the floof, we're about to tell you exactly how much they shed. But first we want to let you know that it depends on a whole bunch of factors. The amount that your Husky is going to shed depends on their location, what kind of climate they have, the types of foods that they eat, the types of shampoos that they use, and how happy or how stressed your dog is will also change how much they shed on a regular basis. So you got to take all of this into consideration. Consideration. But let's just assume you got the middle of the road Huskaroni pizza. You typically don't have any problems. How much will your Husky shed? All right, so Siberian Huskies shed twice a year. That means their entire coat from head to toesy. Typically when a Siberian Husky has what's called a blowout, this is where they shed their entire undercoat. It's because the seasons change. Two of the most drastic season changes occur in the spring and the fall. When the weather gets warmer or the weather gets colder, it's likely that you're going to see your Siberian Husky explode with floof. And this is when you want to do the most amount of brushing and the most amount of vacuuming to keep your house ultra clean. Now, most people think you're just going to ferminate your Husky one time a year or 
two times a year and that's gonna be it. You're gonna be good. Actually, you're probably going to need to brush your Husky daily and ferminate them a couple times when they're having their blowout. If you're really particular about having your house clean and making sure your Husky never sheds on your floor or your furniture, you're gonna have to be doing the brushing on a daily basis. Now you're probably like 60 formula. Do they shed other than the two times a year when they blow their coat? Now it's important to note that Siberian Huskies can shed year round. By this I mean they're not gonna shed their entire coat, but they are going to shed little bits throughout the year in between each blowout. Now I would say it's just about as much as your typical cat, but if you have two Huskies or if you don't clean up, fur can pile up in no time. Now we keep our house pretty clean. There's typically not a lot of hair on the floor and that's because we vacuum on a daily basis and we make sure that we're brushing and ferminating our Huskies all the time. One of the best ways to mitigate fur in your house and make sure you never have to deal with it, never even have to think about it, is to get a automatic pet vacuum. Automatic pet vacuums are absolutely the best way to get husky hair out of your mind at the same time having the cleanest living room and house you've ever seen. So if you're one of those people who wants to own a husky but you're like, I ain't dealing with hair, get yourself an automatic pet vacuum. It's going to save your life and make owning a husky a bajillion times easier. So now you know, huskies blow their coat twice a year and they typically shed at a lower to normal rate year round. So what's the best tool to fight against it? How do I make sure that I'm always husky hair free? You get yourself the secret weapon, the Lidstow Sweeping and Mopping Robot R1. We were lucky enough to link up with Lidstow, our sponsor today, to bring you one of the best automatic robots on the market. This automatic pet robot does it all. It picks up huge husky hair particles, it has a long battery life, and they're quiet, so your Siberian husky or your cat or whatever pet you have at home will not be afraid of it when it's turned on. And speaking of turning it on, you never have to do it with your hands. You can set the Lidstow automatic pet robot with your phone and schedule it to run so you never have to worry about it. This basically is a game changer when it comes to owning a Siberian Husky. So if you're in the market for getting an automatic pet robot, you're looking to clean up your home and keep it all nice and freshified, definitely go with the Lidstow Automatic Pet Robot. It's gonna make your life so much easier. And guess what, dudes? We got a coupon code for you down below so you can save money. That's what I'm all about on this channel. So if you're looking to get one and you wanna save money, you don't wanna pay full price, go down in the description. You're gonna find a coupon code and it's gonna save you a ton of cash when you get one of these top of the line automatic pet robot vacuums. Do you guys wanna see what's inside? Yeah, let's go ahead and open this thing. Yeah, dude, what's in here? A giant treasure chest. Oh, ho, 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 ho. what's in here, hombre? Oh, the best part of any box that you ever have to open. The instruction manual. Looks like it comes with a little brush right there so you can clean up your automatic pet vacuum. What on earth is this? It looks like the surface of the Death Star. Let's go ahead and lift it up. You guys ready? Hold on, first let's give it a few kicks. Okay, every time you get a new box, you should give it a few kicks for good luck, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's go ahead and lift this. Are you ready? You ready, buddy? What's in here? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh god, I almost died. Whoa, okay, now that we got that open, let's see what's in here. Oh dude, I think this is the actual bot itself. Oh my goodness, yeah dude. This is this is the new bot, dude. Let's go ahead and put it over here. Check this out, what is this? I don't know, can you go ahead and open that up for me? Oh my gosh, there's a whole other part. Hila's like, what is this thing, dude? I don't know, I think this is the base. It's where it like charges and stuff. First, Get the, what is this? Oh, these are mopping pads. Cool. She's like, I'll take those, please. Thank you very much. All right, you open those, bro. You open that up. I'm going to open the rest of this box. All right, we get this thing out right here. Oh, yeah, just take it off. Are you going to open it or are you just going to play with it, bro? Come on, get those little pads out of there. And boom, here you go. This is the charging and mounting station for the Lidstow Automatic Pet Vacuum. Dude, this looks... This looks high tech as heck. Dude, you're making a huge mess, but I guess it doesn't matter because we got an automatic pet vacuum. Not only does this pick up all the floof, do it automatically on a schedule that you choose, but it also takes all of the floof out for you. And all you gotta do is take it out of here and throw it away. That means 
This thing is gonna be able to clean several different cycles without you having to worry about emptying it. My biggest gripe with automatic pet vacuums, between every cleaning, you have to empty the receptacle. This one does not require that. Oh my, I've never seen something so sweet. So I just wanted to be real with you guys for a minute, sit down, chill with you. Sit down with Britney McSpears. Yeah, what's up, buddy? Yeah, give me that smile, dudicles. So you know, if you've been with us for a very long time, we used to do very long, informative videos. I mean, we still do, but we do shorts on a daily basis now. We're gonna kinda switch that up again and roll it back. We're only gonna be doing about three to five shorts per week. You're still gonna get tons of short content, but I miss making the longer episodes, being creative, doing a lot of editing, and giving you guys quality information. I miss hanging out with you guys, hanging out with the community. Yeah, he's like, me too, dude. The shorter episodes are fun, don't get me wrong. We have a blast making them, but I have to keep it under 60 seconds, they have to be vertical. There's a whole bunch of things about them that I don't really like that I have to keep to. So I miss making the longer, horizontal, fun, engaging episodes with you guys. So you're gonna start getting those episodes every other day. The days you don't get a longer episode, you're gonna get a short. The days you don't get a short, you're gonna get a longer episode. Is that cool with you, dude? I think that's a, I'm pretty sure that's a yes. I posted about it in the community. If you guys want to comment and let me know what your opinion is on that, go check out the community tab. He's like, what man? What, what community tab, dudes? But I'm pretty sure you guys are okay with that decision. I know a lot of you are here from the shorts, but the longer videos are just as fun. And like I said, the shorts ain't going nowhere, pal. That's gonna be it from us today. Be sure to comment down below if you guys want to get a sticker or a magnet. I'm gonna get the website up ASAP so that you guys can buy a sticker. And I know we don't have any Britney Spears stickers up yet, but we're going to have them ASAP. They're just in the works. Things are just slowly churning. We wanna thank you guys so much for hanging out with us every single day watching all of our videos and being the best hashtag husky community that there ever was. He's like, whoa, dude, your hand was there so long. It put me in and put me in blur and put your hand in the autofocus. If you had fun today, don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe. Give me a paw. Give me a paw. Yeah. And we'll see you next time with another episode of guess what, dude? That's right. Whatever we make. Peace. Scooby-Doo-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop